I struggled with procrastination for pretty much my whole life. There would always be these things that I either had to do, like studying, or things that I wanted to do, like working on my own business or something like that. But I would play video games, I would browse the internet, I would distract myself in other ways. I would just not do the thing that I actually had to do. I procrastinated. And I tried to do so many things. I tried to watch tips and tricks and learn techniques. I tried to watch motivational videos, but it was just never enough. You would learn a new technique and then that technique would be like kind of cool for like a day or something. You, you had the impression that this technique was helping you, but then the next day it was, <laughs> it was as if nothing changed, right? Motivation works the exact same way. You watch a motivational video and then you feel kind of motivated, but really the next day or most of the time, like one hour later, you don't feel motivated anymore. And then you have to watch another motivational video, but that video doesn't really even motivate you. And it, it's just never enough. Tips, tricks, motivation, it just, it just never seems to work. And it's only quite recently that I really found out what procrastination really is. And now that I've learned it, I almost feel kind of silly that I wasted so much time watching all these videos, trying to get motivation and learn new things. Because when you realize what procrastination really is, you start to understand that it has very little to do with how much we know or how motivated we really are. Because procrastination really is emotion. We procrastinate on things because we have a bad emotional relationship with these things. Whether it be on a conscious level or a subconscious level, your brain is essentially telling you that these things aren't fun. Your brain is saying, hey man, work and studying sucks. Playing video games, watching porn, that is fun. So why the hell would I want to go to work right now? Your brain is sort of struggling, right? You think you have to go to work, but your brain is telling you, no, work sucks. I want to play video games and check my phone. That's really, it sounds really dumb when you say it like, when you say it like that, but that's, that's actually the essence of procrastination. It's emotion. Your brain has a negative emotional response to doing or thinking about the thing that you need to be doing. And so it wants to avoid doing that thing. If we look at the difference between someone that procrastinates a lot and someone that doesn't procrastinate a lot, someone that is very successful and very productive, here's the funny thing. The person who is very productive, the person who doesn't procrastinate, that person doesn't actually know something that we don't know. That person doesn't actually have a technique that we are not using. He doesn't have a tip that we haven't learned yet. That person doesn't even have more motivation than we do. It's not like he watches a lot of motivational videos or like he has a lot of internal motivation that makes him do the thing. No, it has very little to do with knowledge or motivation but it's simply because this person has a better emotional relationship with the work that he's doing. When he's working on the things that he should be working on, his brain isn't constantly telling him, Ugh, this sucks, I cannot wait to browse social media or play video games again. This person actually gets some satisfaction or even fun out of the thing that he's doing. It's not knowledge, it's not motivation, it is emotion. And so the real way that we quit procrastination is not by watching more videos and learning more things or getting more motivation, but it is by convincing your brain that the things that you need to be doing aren't actually that bad, that these things are actually kind of fun or at the very least because you don't actually have to be like oh yes studying <laughs> but at the very least that they give you some sense of satisfaction you need to convince your brain to get a better emotional relationship with the things you should be doing now the first way to do this mm, it's very important but this is something a lot of people don't like to hear but guys it's the truth okay it's it's the truth Eliminate the things that give you too much dopamine. 
You know what I'm talking about. Social media, video games, porn, browsing the internet, all of these things. Your brain is biologically wired to want to do the things that are the most fun. The things that give you the most dopamine. It's very much like going up to a child, offering this child either an apple and a piece of candy, right? And then suddenly you say, nope, you can't have the candy. You, you have to eat the apple. But what is that child going to think? Is the child going to be hyped on eating the apple? No. The child's going to be like, ah, the apple sucks, I want to have the candy, right? But what happens if I approach a child and there is only the apple? And this is a child that doesn't eat candy that often. This is a relatively healthy child. He was raised in the right way. He doesn't even think about the candy, but there's just the apple. I'm just offering the apple. This child is probably going to enjoy the apple, right? Because the child is not even comparing the apple to the candy. The child has never even considered the candy. And this is the problem that we have. We always have the candy, the entertainment, the distractions as an option. We are living this lifestyle where the candy is always an option. And so this is exactly why our brain doesn't like to eat the apple. And the person that is very productive is simply productive because he has sort of taught himself over time that the candy is not an option. He isn't constantly working and thinking, oh my God, no, I have to stay disciplined. I should not start up YouTube or uh, watch social media. No, he doesn't even think about that. And so the solution to quitting procrastination is really teaching your brain that the candy is not an option. The entertainment should not be an option to your brain. Now, this doesn't mean that you should never be allowed to indulge in any form of entertainment ever again, but it does mean that you should really teach your brain to differentiate between when it is allowed to indulge in entertainment and when it is not allowed to indulge in entertainment. And this is a skill you can learn. And you are probably at like level one right now. If you were to work for eight hours in a row, or you'd have to study for, let's say even four hours, you probably not manage to do that without distracting yourself, right? And you'd probably just, when you just think about doing it, you probably go like, oh shit, yeah, that sounds like an intimidatingly long period to work hard without going to my favorite websites. But if I were to tell you, try it for just five minutes. Just don't distract yourself first, go straight to work, do it for five minutes without distraction. Could you do it for five minutes? You'd be like, yeah, of course I could do it for five minutes, right? And so you see, it's not really a matter of you either being able to do it or not being able to do it. It's simply a matter of you being low level. You have yet to level up your skill. And this is also exactly why you experience negative emotion, because so many people make the mistake of not really realizing or not really accepting the fact that they are low level. And then they look at other people that are, let's say, level 100, and they, they are rich entrepreneurs, and they work for 10 hours straight without distracting themselves. And then we tell ourselves, oh man, I also need to become like that. And then we completely ignore the fact that we've spent an entire lifetime of procrastination and that we are just completely bad at working hard without distracting ourselves. And so then we set this standard for ourselves where we sort of also have to work hard for many hours in a row. But then we experience negative emotion because we think, fuck, that sounds intimidating. Working for 10 hours in a row, or even if it's like four hours, four, if you're not used to doing that, it's like four hours without entertainment, four hours of studying, without checking my phone, we start to freak out. We start to experience negative emotion. And so that's exactly why we want to avoid doing the thing. We are picking a fight that is too hard for us. We are picking a fight against a high level boss, even though we are low level ourselves. And so this is why it's so important to not compare yourself to other people or to an unrealistic standard, but to accept the fact that you are low level and enjoy the process. Just start by doing it for literally five minutes. I'm not even kidding. Do it for five minutes first, 
15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, four hours, eventually you level up. But it is so important that you stick to your own rules. If you set the goal to work or study for 10 minutes, go straight to work and do it for that entire duration without distracting yourself. Because you really need to teach your brain that when you go to work, distraction or doing something else first is not an option. The candy should not be an option. And then over time, eventually, you will get to the point where working hard for longer periods of time where you don't want to procrastinate actually becomes natural to you. The point where you actually get some sense of satisfaction, maybe even fun out of doing the hard work because your brain now knows that there's just the apple. The candy is not an option and so it's going to enjoy eating the apple. Now another thing that really works is to sort of manually make an effort to make things more fun. Because if you think about what procrastination, how it really works, it is just so silly. We think that doing the hard work isn't fun, right? That's, that's what our subconscious brain is telling us. It's telling us, no, this isn't fun. We want to do the fun stuff. We want to browse the internet and play the video games because that is more fun. We want to feel good. That's what our brain is telling us. But if we really look at what happens on a day that we procrastinate versus a day that we've been productive, we actually feel bad when we have a day where we procrastinate, right? And not even just at the end of the day, but during the day as well. You're sort of just idling around on social media or playing that video game. and You're like, ah, oh, fuck, why am I doing this? And when you're actually doing the hard work, you feel better. And so there's like, a very strong irony in procrastination because your brain sort of wants to procrastinate because it thinks that it makes you feel better. But when you procrastinate, you don't actually feel better. You feel better when you do the hard work. And so the next time, whenever you feel like procrastinating, just manually remind yourself that procrastinating isn't fun, that doing the hard work will make you feel better. Just go like, F you brain. You think that this is going to make me feel good but I know that it isn't. I know better. Doing the hard work is going to make me feel better. I honestly recommend that you just start practicing right now because the truth is you are probably procrastinating right now, right? You've probably been watching YouTube videos because you were procrastinating. Now there's a, t a chance that you were watching this in the evening as like a relaxation. There's a chance that you planned this as like a break where you were watching one educational video to become smarter, but there's also a high chance that you're just procrastinating and that there are some things that you should probably be doing instead, right? So just start right now. There, there's, there's probably no other excuse, right? Do it for five minutes. I'm not talking about working hard for one hour. I'm talking about five minutes, honestly, Pick one thing that you should be doing, go straight to work without distracting yourself, do it for five minutes without distracting yourself and tell yourself that it's actually going to be fun. Actually have some fun doing it. If you have a friend and you think this friend could also benefit from this information, share this video with that friend. There is a fancy share button somewhere below me. And now start doing that thing just for five minutes, get a little bit of experience.